really quite excited by that uh, Grant's Gazelle. It's my first one ever, so that's great. Sharing it with you, the experiences of the Mara. Now, that's a gorgeous picture of the sun going down, and we're about to get a better one from the air. Now, that is a magnificent elephant bull. Good grief. Connor T has outdone himself. He's got the framing absolutely perfect. And that bull is now wandering. I don't know where he is exactly. That looks like a... <laughs> has he gone up to the Mara quickly? It looks like a giant clearing. Oh, I know where he is. He's near Sandy Patch. And is the most beautiful shot. Now, I don't think it's the same bull that Byron had. But what's interesting is that he's flapped his trunk over his tusks there. And that means that he is almost certainly in must. Why they do that, I'm not sure. But they often will rest the trunk on the tusks, if they've got tusks that are big enough to do that. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I still can't quite figure out exactly where he is. I don't know why I find it so difficult. I can't do it when we're watching the feeds of the other vehicles. I also can never figure out where they are until I've looked at the GPS map. But that really is quite special. Oh, and look at the light slicing in there from the top. I would put that elephant bull at about 35 to 40 years old. I think he's much bigger than the one that Byron was walking around gently today. But clearly... There is a, or often we find that there is a sort of cyclical, or not cyclical, um, timed nature to the must. So often, more than one elephant bull will go, synchronization is what I was looking for, synchronization of must, where more than one elephant bull will go into must at the same time. Now, he's got unusually large tusks for this area, I think. And, of course, we know the sad story of what happened to the great tuskers of the Kruger National Park, and indeed, uh, much of the world. But for him, he remains one of the largest tusked animals that I've seen here. Now, the reason I'm suddenly getting a little tongue-tied is that, of course, Connor is flying the drone and I can hear him, which means that those big clearings are the clearings to the west of quarantine. That was fantastic. And clearly he's just a little bit far away for the signal there. Wasn't that beautiful? Now,